Good evening. Welcome to Fun International. Tonight we have a lot to cover. We have weeks four and five, Israel districts, the first team in Afghanistan, and registration costs. So let's start with a week four recap. In week four, we had 19 teams from nine countries competing in North America. In Iowa Regional, the Brazilians did it again. After winning the Regional and Charmers at New York last week, 1156 under control from Novo Hamburgo, Brazil, won their second Regional this year, this time being first pick of the Four Seed Alliance. In the same alliance was team 6025, Adroit Androids from Turkey, that not only won the event, but also got Charmers Award. Also in Iowa, team 6999 Best from Sinop, Turkey, got a rookie All-Star. By the way, 2018 has been a very successful year for international rookies. Just this week we also had 6909 Sakura Tempesta from Chiba, Japan, winning it at Hawaii, 6947 Savage Tumas from Taipei, Taiwan at Great Pittsburgh Regional, and team 7329 Afghan Dreamers from Afghanistan won a York University event in Ontario, but we will talk more about this later. Moving on to Colorado Regional, where team 6459 AG Robotic from Istanbul, Turkey got their Engineering Inspiration Award. Another team to qualify to champs by Engineering Inspiration was 6652 Tigre Robotics from Monterrey, Mexico, winning at Bayou Regional. And now let's talk again about 4253, Raid Zero from Taipei, Taiwan. After winning in Australia, they went to Hawaii seated first and not only won the event but also got Chairman's Award for their continuous work in Taiwan. Make sure you keep an eye on this team in Detroit. Congratulations to all those teams. And now, let's talk about registration costs, or if you prefer, money. In order to participate in FRC, a team must pay every year a registration fee, $6,500 for rookies and $5,000 for veterans. This will cover the key of parts and your initial registration. What people don't realize is that only American teams pay the same price every year. This is due to global economy, since the money exchange rates are variables that flow according with the international scenario. But how much teams are actually paying? To clarify this, we had an idea. This is what we did. To pay for the registration, you need to have money. To get money, people normally work. To make it simpler, let's see how many hours a person needs to work at a minimum wage to get $5,000 in America and then do this for every country participating in FRC. After that, we convert the amount of hours they need to work in their countries back to America and see how much each team pays in the American perspective. Long story short, it's like if we translate the metric system in bald eagles so our American friends can understand. So who is paying the cheapest registration fee? The answer is Norway. Yes, the two Norwegian teams pay approximately $1,800 in the American perspective. But they are not alone, since Australia, France, Netherlands, UK, and Germany pay amounts that are reasonably cheaper than US. Others like Canada, Israel, and Japan are the countries that pay prices very close to the original American price. I know what you're thinking. If there are countries that pay less, there's probably countries that pay more. Yes, and prepare yourself to be sad, because there are countries where you need to work for more than two years and not spending anything else to be able to pay a single $5,000 registration fee. There are countries like Chile, India, Brazil, Bosnia, Colombia, Dominican Republic, and Vietnam. So what it means is like if you want to create an FRC team in Vietnam and want to pay off the registration for yourself, you may need to work approximately 7,000 hours. This is where the problem is, because it's obvious that teams from these countries don't have an easy life. But the biggest problem is how fast you can change. So let's get an example of Brazil. Brazil had two regions in 2007 and 8. By that time, they had 23 teams registered. Looks promising, right? But do you know what also happened in 2007 and 8? Percent today, the Zetradax over in Frankfurt is down by 9%. The Paris market down by 9%. It is as volatile as you'll ever see. Traders say this is the craziest day they have ever seen in these markets. percent Really, you're seeing just broad-based declines across all of the major technology sectors. This could be the most serious recession in decades. Just to put in the same perspective, the teams registered in 2008 paid the equivalent of $11,000 for the registration. By the end of the same year, the price for the same registration was more than $5,000 higher. Imagine now if next year the registration costs you $10,000 instead of $5,000. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. So, 
the inevitable result was just five teams survive in Brazil and took Brazil eight years to start growing again. And now, 10 years later, we still don't have the same amount of teams we had back in 2007. Now imagine if the same happens in Australia, Turkey, China or Mexico. How can we solve this? It's a very hard problem to solve. But there are many things that can be done in short and long term. In long term, for example, the registration fees can be adjusted according with each international event, where the costs and prices will be adjusted to local standards, something similar to districts. Also, international teams that don't have local regionals can be offered a discounted registration for events that normally don't fill up. One example would be teams who prefer to go to Calgary for a discounted registration instead of filling up spots in California and New York. Another thing that can be done for teams from South America, instead of like opting between the chassis kit and the in-mark voucher, give them the option to put this value in the registration fee, since in this specific case, they cannot import anything from overseas. These are just some ideas that can fix or minimize the problem. But one thing for sure is like, first needs to address this problem. We cannot say that we are in a fair competition where teams from different countries pay extreme different values for the same registration fee. Look, I was back in Brazil in 2007 and 8, and I remember how hard it was to survive to those years. And if you think this was the worst part, imagine you arrive in 2009 and then first give you this. To the 2009 First Robotics Competition and this year's game, Lunacy. So now let's go to our week 5 recap. So let's start with the Israel District Championship, where 4 or 5 teams from all over the country had their chance to grab one of the 16 spots available in the championship. After 83 qualification matches, team 1577 Steampunk ranked first and picked 1574 Miscar and 1779 Cobot for an undefeated run in eliminations, winning the event and the third blue banner of the season for Steampunk. Congratulations to team 2096 Rebel Active on their Chairman's Award win. Also, we had 23 teams from 9 countries competing in North America. Let's start with El Paso Regional, where Team 5344 Rhinos from District of Federal Mexico won the event. And 6832 Robot Trojans from San Pedro Garcia, Mexico got the Rookie All-Star. Moving on to Silicon Valley Regional, where 3132 Thunder Down Under from Australia got their Engineering Inspiration Award and watched Team 491 Drift from Santo Domingo, Republica Dominicana getting the Charms Award. Also this week, we had Team 5515. Rule Power Robotics from Shanghai, China, winning the Ventura Regional. And that's it. This is what I have for tonight. See you next time.